Now, uh, Gene Cubison has a question for each candidate separately, uh, and then, or I'm sorry, one question Correct. each, and then I'm going to ask a not question. Re not related to the other. Um, I don't invite rebuttals, but I'm imagining they're going to want to. But okay. <laughs> Let's hear it. This who, be good. Who, who, who would you like me to address first here? Either one. Um, Let's do Mr. Uh, uh, Filner. Uh, right. Mr. Filner, even though Erwin Jacobs has endorsed Mr. DeMaio, if you're elected and if the Plaza de Panama makeover plan is upheld, and on the off chance that Dr. Jacobs could be of use to a Filner administration in some further fashion, would you be inclined to reach out to him and make amends for what people considered a very hostile and unfair treatment of him at the City Council's consideration of that project? Well, once again, you know, the assumptions of the question I have to question. Uh, I mean, I went to the City Council to oppose a plan that I thought was wrong for Balboa Park and wrong for the city. And what I said was, city policy, and it will never happen under my administration, to be ba yes, we love the philanthropy, yes, we love Dr. Jacobs, and we love the fact that he wants to improve Balboa Park, but this was his private plan. This is Balboa Park, the jewel of our city. The city council doesn't just do what one individual wants and say, oh yeah, we're gonna do that, and then don't, the, the funding plan in place is just, it's, it's never gonna work. I call it the DeMaio tax when the, the funding doesn't uh, be able to uh, get the job done. But, uh, so yes, I opposed the plan. I wrote one, by the way, to, when I, I represented Balboa Park on the city council. I wrote the ba Balboa Park master plan and the specific plan which dealt with this. We had a plan to get the cars out of Balboa Park. It involved uh, off-site parking and a tram into the, uh, into the uh, park, and it cost, I don't know, a few million dollars, not the 40 million uh, thing that destroys Balboa Park now. So uh, I'm, I'm, I'm not sure it'll pass, uh, again, legal, uh, legal muster. But look, as, as a mayor, uh, if a proposition like B passes by the voters, if the Balboa Park passes like it did on the city council, and if it's, they're found legal by the uh, court system, as mayor, my job is to implement that. My job, I, I can't go back everything that I opposed and say, we got to do over. I have to implement it. And uh, uh, Dr. Jacobs, uh, you know, he and I, by the way, are a lot alike. Uh, we, both, uh, we both went to Cornell University in an engineering school. Uh, we both uh, came to San Diego to teach at universities. We both made, uh, no, two out of three ain't bad. He made a lot of money. Uh, so, of course, he's a, he's a, he loves San Diego. Uh, he has, uh, he's, he's played a big role in philanthropy, whether it's the symphony or, you know, other, other major uh, institutions. So, of course, we will reach out to him. Uh, Mr. DeMaio, you can respond quickly or wait yeah. for your own question. Bob Filner says that our leading philanthropist, one of the largest Democrat supporters in our state, one of the best innovators we've ever had in our city, Dr. Erwin Jacobs, that he's a lot alike. Dr. Jacobs, Mr. Filner, I know Dr. Jacobs. <laughs> I've worked with Dr. Jacobs on a bipartisan basis. Dr. Jacobs supports my candidacy. And Congressman, you are no Dr. Erwin Jacobs. Not bad, Carl, not bad. I'll tell you, I'll, I'll tell you, you. I'll give you one for that one. I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what. I'm proud of the fact that this week, we saw two individuals embody exactly what our campaigns for fiscal reform have been about since 2003. In the wins that we've been able to achieve at the ballot box in 2006, in 2010, in 2008, on fiscal reform, two men stepped forward and reflected the bipartisan energy that we've been able to tap and bring together to get things done. When Mayor Jerry Sanders and Dr. Irwin Jacobs came together to support my candidacy, I will tell you this, I will work with anyone, even stop. people that I disagree with, even people that I disagree with at times, I will work with them if it's in the best interest of our city. But I will never, when we disagree, Scott, when we disagree, I will never, as Bob Filner did this week, challenge the integrity of these two San Diego civic leaders calling okay. them sellouts. I think that was absolutely outrageous. That's good. That's I called good. you a sellout. I called you a sellout, Carl, not those two individuals. And you are a sellout. Okay. Um, uh, 
Dean, your second question. Well, a separate question for Mr. DeMaio. At a debate a couple weeks ago, you referred to yourself, among other things, as an environmentalist, which came as a surprise to an environmental group um, that has consistently given you F's and D's for your voting record on those issues. What revelation was it that prompted you to make <laughs> canyons, habitats, watersheds, et cetera, um, a priority of Plank in your uh, campaign now? Well, it wasn't a revelation. Back in 1999, I worked on putting together with a coalition of national environmental groups uh, the first environmental performance summit, bringing together federal, state, and local government officials and stakeholder groups to look at how do we measure and hold our government programs accountable for reporting environmental outcomes? And how do we align every decision, every contract, every grant, every funding priority to getting results on the environment, whether it's clean water or clean air? And that put in place a national movement in performance-based environmentalism. I was also pleased that I led a study group, uh, again, with a variety of, of, of organizations, including the National Environmental Policy Institute, to look at ways to improve the Environmental Protection Agency in 2000. And we published a groundbreaking report on that issue. Uh, on the City Council, I've adopted and proposed uh, a number of programs to make it easier to have conservation. I have been a champion of the PACE program, which would allow us to use market financing for energy conservation projects, water conservation, as well as solar. The PACE programs we just approved in the past week, and that will allow businesses and in the future residents to finance solar panels on their homes in a more cost-effective way. I support an environmental, uh, uh, environmental and conservation-based water rate structure. Right now, if you do the right thing and you save water, you don't save money. And we need to change our water rate structure so that we give incentives to, to families and businesses to do the right thing, to retrofit their facilities and their homes so that we can save money and expand this supply. And finally, I am proud of the fact that I have laid out my Clean Coasts 2020 plan, which among other things requires that we will have an Office of Environmental Protection reporting directly in the mayor's office that we are going to have the most aggressive stormwater and Thank clean you. water program, and that we're going to promote our blue economy, uh, the various industries that rely on our environment to create jobs. It's not, the, uh, uh, it's not right to suggest that there's a choice between good jobs and the environment. Wrap we can do both in San Diego. Thank you. Now, Bob, do you want to respond, or can I ask my question? Uh, let me respond, I guess. Hold on just uh, a sec. All right, you have one minute. There he goes again. I mean, he invented, uh, what did you say? Performance-based environmentalism. I mean, that's code for I'm against the environment. Uh, I mean, it, it, the thing that he had, 250 pages that nobody but me has ever read, uh, uh, mentioned the word environment once, and it was in one sentence. I read the whole thing, Carl. One word of the environment. Every major environmental group, whether it's the uh, League of Conservation Voters, it's the Sierra Club, they have endorsed me as they have in my 30 years in public office. That's third-party validation for, uh, for they watch every vote, they watch everything that we do, and they have endorsed me, Carl. Oh, by the way, uh, your uh, two uh, uh, wonderful people who are friends of mine also, Jerry Sanders and uh, Erwin Jacobs, if I recall... They endorsed Bonnie, Sander, uh, Bonnie Dumanis in the uh, election. So uh, guess where she came out? So uh, I'm not impressed with the, uh, the ability of okay, them to... Okay, we're going to uh, cut you there. Uh, one last thing. I'm, no, you got to cut. First thing I'm going to do is have a mandatory solar uh, powering of all public buildings so we can really become the solar capital of our okay, nation. Okay, that's good. Thank you. Now, I want to ask about a, a different type of performance. Um, Carl used to talk about... Um, uh, switching the city employees over to a system where they get paid and they earn uh, uh, progress based on their performance. Um, I have a, so I want to ask both of you about this. How in the world would you get there? Because you've also said you respect collective bargaining. And then secondly, Bob, is that something that you agree with or, or would want to implement? Uh, as Carl says, it would create a more efficient and, and uh, um, a deliverable government. So, uh, uh, Councilman? Well, I want to reward our employees for better performance. And I think that you have a lot of hardworking city employees that do deserve merit and performance bonuses. 
And that's how you get better performance. That's how you get employee morale and you're able to recruit and retain a quality workforce. I'm a businessman. I want to be able to recruit the best employees into the city so that we can provide quality services. And that's also why when we put together Prop B, which voters overwhelmingly approved, uh, we worked to ensure that we could provide merit and performance-based increases in compensation, uh, even under Prop B's cap on pensionable pay. And so we are already doing that in the Housing Commission. That's something that, on a bipartisan basis, the City Council approved. Uh, and that's our first pilot test of what we'd like to do in other government agencies. Second, as you did appropriately point out, I am a supporter of collective bargaining. I respect the rights of the unions to organize and negotiate on behalf of their members. Where I have a problem is when politicians don't negotiate on behalf of the taxpayers to ensure that we get a balanced deal. You have to have both. And that is why we will thoughtfully go through collective bargaining and we will implement compensation programs that work for our employees and work for taxpayers. Might I also add that this city council on Monday will approve after go going through This city council on Monday will approve, after going through collective bargaining and meeting and conferring in good faith on Proposition B, and then coming to an, a unanimous agreement with our labor unions, we will approve the switch to the 401k retirement program from the defined benefit plan. And that will be done, that will be done on a bipartisan basis with the votes of Democrats and Republicans. It was done working with Mayor Sanders and City Attorney Jan Goldsmith. Thank it you. was done in a thoughtful way, and we're doing the very things that Mr. Filner says can't be done. Yes, Congressman, it can be done, and we're doing it on Monday. Let me uh, let you respond. Do you agree with performance pay for public employees, and how would you implement it if you did? Well, you know, he ended with something irrelevant, which was uh, Monday's vote. Uh, I mean, Carl knows. I mean, he talked about increased morale for public employees. He just threw them under the bus and took away pensions. I mean, come on, that's really going to increase morale. Uh, and when you say they're the worst thing since whatever. But uh, so let's, let's be clear. And what the, the employee groups have agreed to is, some, is an interim thing, by the way, which your, your measure has cost us now at least $37 million a year. We haven't had any savings. You, you, uh, it cost us $37 million so far to, to begin to implement Prop B. And they're voting on an interim plan because the plan is stuck in court suits, many, several of them. And it, I don't think it's going to be declared uh, constitutional, I mean, uh, legal. Be, you know, he said tonight, he led the fight for Proposition B. Well, you have to go through meet and confer process, not just put a referendum on the ballot by your, your power as a councilman and the mayor. You've got to negotiate. They did not negotiate. Okay, you well, got, let me ask you. So, like, look, I'm willing to, look, collective bargaining is a two-way process. I'm for excellence, I'm, account, I'm for accountability, I'm for responsiveness, and as a strong mayor, I'm going to make sure that all my employees respond in that way. When it comes to the uh, collective bargaining process, that comes out of the, of the process. And yeah, we want to reward, of course, uh, excellent employees. We find a way to do that. So as far as the, the, you know, the movement of thought that believes that employees should get paid for their performance and not in bulk as, as, a, as a group, what do you think about that? If you could find a way to negotiate that, and, you know, let, we could do that. But I will tell you, the, the history, so you the history. Can do it. Do you want of to course, do it? I, well, the history of those, and I've been a public employee, <laughs> the history of them is that when you get into those kind of decisions, they are so difficult to measure, and that's not to say they're impossible that personal and vindictive decisions get made by those in charge. And the employees have negotiated a set of protections that we need to respect, because the history is that they throw out people who are whistleblowers, they throw out people who have different political judgments, they throw out people who question their supervisor, they throw out people who might object to sexual harassment. That's what the history says. Okay. So there's all kinds of protections built in for employees that we must respect. Thank you. Um, 